Okay, I've got things steamed up here pretty good. To uh, 80 pounds, oh, it's 60 pounds or so. Uh, I haven't got a battery anymore to hook up to it. I'd have to take the one out of my truck, but you saw the other video with the battery on it. And the power converter goes with it and everything. The battery cables are there. And uh, everything's working fine. This engine has forward and reverse on it. This lever right here. Just loosen this handle. And that's one direction. But you only need one direction. If you ever want to use the engine for anything else, you got forward and reverse on it, which is pretty nice. So to just uh, turn on the steam valve here and give the crank a little push. It's a very sweet running engine that's incredibly well built. And the oiler here, I put some oil in it. You'll need some steam oil. Take off the lid here. This is a drain for it. It'll get water condensation in there. Water, steam comes in and goes through it a little bit and pushes the oil out of it and down into the engine. These are the blowdown valves for the engine. Little oilers right here as well on both sides. And the whistle works good. Pop off valves uh, was sticking on me here a minute ago. I'm not gonna, I think I might replace it. It was staying open. And you can hear the exhaust from the engine. See, the exhaust is right here. It's going up and into the stack, creating a draft to help the fire. It creates more uh, heat that way. And a little blowdown valve here. Careful there's not somebody standing there. And a hand pump I've worked on. Oh, here's another thing. The tube cleaner, I found that. The brush. Clean the tubes out once in a while, maybe once every other two or three times you run it. Of course, when you put oil in this to fill it, you want to have uh, the steam off. So. And I'll turn off the engine. And I'll turn on the blower. You hear that running. Helps to get the fire going a little bit once you've got steam up. Well, that's about it. It's running really good. This one leaks a little bit, but it's not a big deal. A little steam coming out of there is good ventilates the boiler a little bit. And I can't think of anything. If I do, I'll add it to the video. It's a lot.